colorful roses on my head. Oh, on your head? Sternum tattoos, shin tattoos, and a head tattoo? What the actual hell? No! The next two are really shitty. Someone here is gonna get the head. Pawn. Cool. Why did Pawn pick the head tattoo? Pretty ballsy on his part, but I guess he's feeling confident. Today, you must prove that you understand legibility by tattooing watercolor tattoos. Awesome. Watercolor tattoos are by far the least legible tattoo style I can think of. It can't work together. These tattoos mimic watercolor brush strokes to create vibrant images. And although these tattoos play fast and loose with both color and shape, it's still crucial that you make sure your tattoo is legible. Watercolor tattoos can be a muddy mess. Colors could run into each other and it's gonna be hard to tell what it is. I want you guys to realize that two more of you are gonna get eliminated before this thing even gets going. Once we get to the top five on each team, it's really gonna turn up. To stay in the competition, make it the best tattoo you can make today. Let's meet your canvases. Kevin, you won the flash challenge. That means that you have the power to assign the canvases. This moment can make or break you, so choose carefully. I want uh, watercolor wildflowers with a negative space triangle on my sternum. The sternum, it's not easy. I do not want the tattoo on the sternum because that area hurts. I don't need somebody that's gonna walk out on me. I don't wanna be set up for failure. I'm not afraid of the Girls Alliance, but anybody who's not part of it is susceptible to getting I'm just trying to protect my own ass. Which one did you? The sternum. Kevin. Kevin's going for the sternum piece. I'm not necessarily sure where he's going with this strategy now, but he's got two guns locked and loaded pointing at me and Tito. This canvas asked for a watercolor wild orchid on her sternum. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You want to outline everything black? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I was thinking that the inside, this flower should be like the minimal outline. Of all the canvases, even though this is the one that I feel the most comfortable with tattooing because I feel like it complements my style the most, it's the least legible subject matter. Let's do this. Outline on the outside, mm -hmm. inside no outline. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is gonna be hella, hella risky. I kind of feel like I shot myself in the foot. Kevin, I have the feeling he's not gonna outline the inside of the diamond, and that's gonna be a killer for him. Team Nunez. Today, you had to show legibility by creating a watercolor tattoo that's readable from across the room. Team Peck, you will serve as the jury of peers. Kevin, let's start with you. Kevin, my big problem with this tattoo is legibility. What kind of flower is this supposed to be? It's a wild orchid, which in real life, I feel like most people wouldn't know what kind of flower it is. This one area where you have that nice dark purple and it pushes that petal forward, if you would have at least had more of that, it would have played a lot stronger. I was going to do the lines on the inside, but she told me she didn't want the lines on the inside. You still want your image to be crystal clear. It's a flower. You may not know what kind of flower, but... Yeah, but regardless of what flower it is, I could still be able to see a petal and see where it goes, where it's folding without that strong outline or without any definitive shape, the middle does look like a mess. Today, you had to create a watercolor tattoo. And based on your work, one of you will close shop. Kevin, if you had this same outline on this whole tattoo and had this thing looking like a flower that was really opening up, then you'd be sitting up there and somebody else would be down here. Do I think it's a bad tattoo? No. Do I think it's the worst tattoo on the bottom? Absolutely not. Technically, you might have the most solid tattoo down here, but it is by far the most illegible on a day where we're testing legibility. Kevin, out of these three tattoos, you're not gonna go home today. Today, you must tattoo. Here it comes. A compass rose. Oh, shit. Really? Lost circles, a lot of tight lines. Yeah. It's just a nightmare. Unlike a vintage map, the compass rose is the part that shows you which way is north, south, east, and west. It always consists of straight lines and circles every single time. It's going to be a lot of f ups. This is to see who's a technician and who's not. Straight lines, good circles, smooth shading. It's the fundamentals. Just keep it super clean. What are you looking to get, man? I'm looking to get an American traditional clipper ship on my sternum. Whoa. Oh, shit. On your sternum? You know how painful a sternum tattoo is? There's no way. Trash polka, um, <laughs> compass rose on my calf. Fundamentals and trash polka, it's just a nightmare, dude. 
really none of them are all that easy, so. A lot of people up there want yeah. color work, and we got a lot of black and gray on us. They're gonna throw color, 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 oh, color, yeah, they color. They and they gotta throw me black and gray. <laughs> Stomach. Today, we're definitely gathering information on everyone. I'm trusting you. If they're bragging about how good they are at black and gray, we're gonna throw them a color piece. Color? Yeah, color. Here you go, Bear. If they're bragging about how good they are at color, we're gonna throw them a black and gray piece. You guys are gonna <laughs> hate us. What's that? Sternum. Angel. What's up, man? I kind of get excited whenever I get a bad skull pick because now I have something to overcome. Yeah. What did he want? Trash book. Jason. Got you, man. Oh. oh really? Yeah. I was OK, not what I expected. Jason just picked the hardest one for himself. What a twist. Trash Polka and Jason, it's like trash and garbage. They go right together. You're on the straight lines now, so it's as still as you can. Just as I suspected, Jason kicked all of us right in the gut. I knew somebody was going to be like, I'll give Angel the flipper ship. I'm going to keep the other competitors guessing. They don't know what I've been up to. But joke's on you, Jason. Give me a skull, and I'm going to hit it out of the park every single time. Oh, yeah, dude. You're killing it, man. Yep. It's pretty clean. <laughs> I'm taking a lot of risk with this tattoo. This style is meant to take up the whole body part. And when you're working with circles, it can be something that's a little tricky. You know, I'm going to surprise people here. Today, you had to execute flawless fundamentals, tattooing a compass rose. Angel. Very, very clean tattoo. It's what a strong black outline can do. And it pops, and it's strong, and it's a sticker. Is the flag going the wrong way? Yes. What? I had it the other way, and then Arlene was like, ah, oh, it's backwards. And the wind is pushing the sails, so the sails are both this way, but then the flag is going the opposite way. I will not forget. Jason. These circles and the straight lines really are nice. The black is really strong, and that red is punched in so bright. I'm not a fan of trash polka, but you make this design cool. That's clean. Good job, buddy. Thanks. Judges, it is time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. Angel's tattoo really stands out strong. Clean line work, smooth shading, solid black and bright color. What about Jason? Jason definitely has some shining moments, for sure. Final decision. For all of the technical output, with the straightest lines, the most perfect against the field circles, I will go with Jason today. Oh, shots. I'm voting for Angel. It's not the best drawing. I could settle this pretty easily. My vote's for Jason. There you go. Oh, oh. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Jason. For this elimination tattoo, you must put your fundamentals to the test by tattooing a clock. Oh, no. A clock? No. I hate clocks. Damn. There's always small, tight detail. There's perfect straight lines for the hands. Concentric circles, it's just a technical nightmare. Coaches, the most important thing here is to lead your teams. Yeah. Get them to really tighten these drawings up, because with no good bones, we're not going to see a good body. And then if you see them, that they're going to make some kind of capital error in this competition, it's your chance to make a correction. Because at the end of the day, this all reflects on you guys. <laughs> Clean's going to be busy today. <laughs> An abstract, open-faced pocket watch, gears and all, on the left side of my head. You want a six hour tattoo on your head? We're gonna make sure that we screw over every single one of their tattooers. I guarantee these came in, it's their first time doing that. They don't know how to use it. There's no way we can give anybody over there an advantage to win Tattoo of the Day. We definitely have to make sure that we're screwing them over. None of us are going home. All right. Let's do this. Yeah. Team, Team clean. clean. Tiara. Why would they get the head tattooed? They're empty. Don't you they suck at skull pitch. I picked this super tough canvas to show everybody what I can do and how awesome I am. How's it going over here? He wants to do his head around his ear. What if you turn this into like a negative space gear? Oh. Piece of cake. Yeah. We got this team clean all day. I worked my ass off all my life before I was legally even allowed to get tattooed, I was tattooing. And I knew this is what I wanted to be when I grew up and I was determined to get there. You can help me win this thing? I hope so. Awesome. Tattoo of the day. I think this is really gonna shake everybody up. 
Today, you had to prove your fundamentals tattooing a clock. Tiara. What I love is where the two breaks off in the crack, you continue to two over in the piece. I like the negative space around the back of the ear. That gear shape is very nice. The circle here is what gets away from you, but it's ahead. It's a tough spot to do, man. You earned yours. Thank you. For today's challenge, you must tattoo neo-traditional animals. Dope. I got y'all. got y'all. I'm scared. <laughs> I love animals. They're so cute. Neo-traditional, I'm just gonna jump off a bridge. Women's team, you won the flash challenge. You now have the power to assign the human canvases. Awesome. Advantages in this competition are crucial, so choose wisely. A uh, neo-traditional swimming otter with a sailor cap and a pipe on my ribs. This some crazy shit. I would totally just more try to remember your guys' that you're into and just dish my mouth. What did you want? None of these. Okay, we're good. We got this. I feel like the women as a team don't really understand how huge of an advantage the skull picks are. They're given this big-ass weapon and they don't even know how to use it. The otter on the ribs. That's a good chance that you might get the ribs. Ash? Oh, that's me. What? You guys talk shit? I'm just surprised you took the ribs, that's all. Tattoo artist, I do ribs. Oh. So we're gonna talk placement. So I'm thinking it might be better somewhere else. Only because we only have six hours and it's color. So I'm just a little worried about finishing it. I'm down to do ribs if it's something you're like set set on. I mean, I was thinking like if not ribs, then like my back. Your back? Area. Okay. Mm -hmm. How you doing over here? Good. Just trying to like block colors in. That's all it is. Big blocky, solid tattoo. I hate color. I've always seen things in black and gray. This is my mixer for all the blues. That's my mixer. Never mix with white. You're going to grab a tan, something that's light that can get you to a lighter tone, and you mix that. I taught myself, so I don't really know anything. I work by myself, so it's not like I really have the chance to learn. I want to be able to let go of all of the shit in my head, and I just want to have fun. I want to do a good tattoo. It's just hard. Watch you're not wiping too hard over that line work. OK. Today, you had to demonstrate contrast by tattooing a neo-traditional animal, Ash. These tattoos need a heavy outline. They stand alone. You don't have a strong outline. Your blue isn't solid. And please, for the love of God, what is that red? Yeah, I probably told her to do the red. I just told her to whip red from corners. It's not that. It's the way the red looks. You just don't put in solid color. This is my first time doing it. Not that that's an excuse. Don't abandon the things that you can do because somebody changed the name of what you're doing. You know what you're always doing? Tattooing. Yeah. So just tattoo. When it comes to consistent tattoos, your coaches are two of the best this competition has seen. And with their shot at $25,000 on the line, they're exactly who you want on your side. You guys are gonna rock them. Because today, you must create cross-stitch tattoos. Mother I don't know what cross-stitch is. The little round frames you see in your grandmother's bathroom, it says dumbass shit in it. With intricate patterns and hundreds of tiny, repetitive lines, Consistency is crucial to make your design look like it's sewn into your canvas's skin. Wait, what? I love sewing other people's skin, so that's not a problem. It is grandma's patterns. Colorful roses on my head. Oh, on your heads? Sternum tattoos, shin tattoos, and a head tattoo? What the actual hell? No! I hope everyone remembered exactly what they wanted. Is there any ones that you're like, I don't want to do it all? Yeah, a lot of them. Think a lot about, like, design, because that's going to play a big part in us. Who are we giving the shitty ones to? The girls. <laughs> the next two are really shitty. Someone here is going to get the head. Pawn. Cool. Why did Pawn pick the head tattoo? Pretty ballsy on his part, but I guess he's feeling confident. When you're tattooing a head, you have a 50-50 shot of it bleeding to all hell. I'm having some saturation issues. Every time I put a line in, it's bleeding. Yeah. Like profusely. Every time I put ink in, it's coming right out. But I think that at the end of the day, this challenge is going to come down to, like, technical. I'm hoping they remember that I took Tattoo of the Day the other day. <laughs> I've already spent so much time here and been away from my family this long, I need to go farther. I realize it every single day how much I miss them. But, like, I'm going to kill this right now because that's why I'm here. Right. Today, you had to prove your consistency by creating a cross-stitch tattoo. Pause. 
Hey guys. I see a little bit of the cross stitch patterning in here, but as far as like really having that look strong, you missed it on that. I underestimated the whole challenge of the tattoo, to be honest. Just judging consistency, you're not even consistent on the leaves themselves. That part should have been flawless. 